Hey everybody, Ingenious here, hoping you enjoy the post-apocalyptic masterpiece Fallout as the Virtuous. Now let's go ahead and apply those points. And let's just get an even hundred. Let's go ahead and do like this. Alright, still giving two points for that's always good. I'm not gonna miss too often with my little pistol now. Say hello to my little alien blaster. Yep, it is this zone. It slows me down for whatever reason. I don't have much room. Only 15 pounds, I think. Really don't need the equipment anymore, but. Gizmo's been iced, his place is emptied. Let's see if we get anything out of this. Box of noodles. Instant spaghetti meats. Hmm. Probably tastes like rubber. I actually don't need these books anymore, because if I remember correctly, I'm at 91% on outdoors. Yep. A whole lot of nothing there. What do we got from Gizmo? Some caps. Always good. If I want to get dog meat, I can use that. A pistol that's not really worth much. Ooh, a locked door. Let's pick that sucker. Yay, unlocked. Magazine, lighter, and what is this? An average size bag. We'll figure that out later. Dresser, anything over here? No, of course not. For a guy that was owned the town, he really didn't have much in the way of money stashed. Alright, where's that pit? Alright, there's the scum pit. That's till evening. Because the bar ain't hopping until evening time. Welcome to Scum Pit. What can I do for you? Well, my name's Ingenious. What is this place? Haven't you ever seen a bar before, stranger? This is my place, the Scum Pit. You buy drinks here, and you tip me. Hmm. So, can I get some information? Okay, what do you want to know? Let's scoop on this town. Well, just over there to the west is Gizmo's Casino. I'd be surprised if you didn't know about that. Most of the people here are the ones who just finished losing their money there. Over in the other part of town, you got Killian's General Store and Marcel's Crash House. Killian's a good guy, runs a straight joint, carries everything you need. The crash house is where you sleep it off when you've been in here for too long. He you know, chuckles. Thanks, can I get a drink? Eh, I'm not gonna pass right now. Don't need to get hit up, I think. Booze. Oh, whoa, that's not good. Okay, I guess that guy is in a little bit of pain, and skulls are walking out. Hey, eh, some armor. I don't have it. Room for that. How oh, lovely. Let's see if you can barter. What's the trophy on the shelf? That's not a trophy, it's an urn. Contains my wife's ashes. Besides the bar, it is the most important thing in my life. And that's a sentimental man. I can get rid of some of the stuff that I don't need. 200, that's it. Well, I can get four out of that, so three more. I don't need the ammo. So 29 more. Perfect. My barter skill sucks, but. Do a little bit of trading in the wasteland. Oh, guy talking about Deathclaw. I don't know what that's all about. Let's talk to that waitress. Welcome to Scum Pit. Can I get you something to drink? Actually, I have a question for you. Guess so. Why do you scream about Sal? Sal's my boyfriend. He's really good to me. Who owns the bar? Neil owns the bar. He's a good guy. Always treated me right. We used to date, but he got a little too serious for my liking. I don't want to be a widow. Ah, like his wife. Hey, this guy looks cool. Let's talk to him. Another new face. Travelers here are a dime a dozen. But you have the look of someone different. Care to join me for a drink? Sure. Delightful. I hope you don't mind your drink well watered. They treat beer here like a potted plant. What's your story? I could ask the same of you. In the interest of amity, I suppose I'll tell first. I'm called Tycho. Come from out from the east, what used to be called Nevada. Pretty long trip. How'd you survive all the dangers? Had some pretty good training and some good weapons, too. My grandfather was a ranger way back when, and he taught my father everything he knew. Dad passed it on to me, so I knew enough not to drink glowing water, so to speak. Really, survival's tough these days. You must be pretty knowledgeable. Yeah, well, my family taught me everything there is to know about survival. Don't drink water that's totally clear and free of insects and moss, for instance. Only poisonous or radioactive water could be that clean in the wilderness. Lots of the other little things to look out for, too. Like what? Well, if you got some time, I could go over some pointers. Sure, that'd be great. Hope that my little instruction course helped a bit. Thank you. 
Whoa, not so fast. We never finished introductions, remember? What's your name, stranger? I'm an ingenious. Good to meet you. Step carefully, friend. Absolutely, but before I go, can we barter? And yes, I know you can recruit Tycho, but I want to go solo, so... New just impacts, okay. Uh, that's a bit more than just impacts. It's an expensive lighter. E. 100. Wow, seven shots is that expensive? 225? Holy crud. Shotgun ammo is expensive. 150, that's good. I'll take it. It's only six off. And who's this guy? Ismark. Yeah, what do you want? Good singing. Thanks, what can I do for you? Do you do music anywhere else? Yeah, I sing at the hub sometimes. I visited the Brotherhood of Steel and Andy Tim with the caravans. Why do you ask? I don't need directions. Let's see if he's going to barter, though. Ooh, he will. 96, way too expensive. Perfect. Uh, Addy Tim. Hmm, head southwest of the hub. Addy Tim is part of the Boneyard. It's a small, semi-industrial town, and I don't like it much there. What else do you want to know? The hub? The hub? Oh, it's just a short distance south of Junktown. What else? And Brotherhood? Brotherhood is a couple days west and a little bit north of here. Don't go there, though. They won't let you in unless you're with the caravan. Anything else? No, thank you. Okay. I want to talk to Saul. Let me talk to him. Sorry, but today's match is already over. Well, that's not good. I want to get in here. Fine. I'll do that later, I guess. We're just gonna go ahead and, you know, rest until morning. You know, they just leave me here, that's all good. Wait, I don't need the bar. Oh, it was locked in. Kind of. The whole side door, you know, let me out. There's the exit, there. Okay. Alright, who do I want to talk to? I think it's this guy. You're on Skull's turf, stranger. You better talk quick. I'd like to join you guys. You want to join us, huh? How do we know you're tough to be a Skull? Let me prove it to you. If you want to prove you belong to Skulls, I want you to steal that old bastard's wife's ashes. Let's make Neil suffer for his last couple of hours. I already stole it. You got it? Yep. Ha! <laughs> Let that old cock suffer until we off him tonight. Are you in? I have to do some other stuff before then. I'll meet you there. Alright. Meet us later. Don't take too long. Yep. Neil's really gonna get his. So by stealing the urn, I actually lose a little bit of karma. But by returning it after we help defeat the skulls, I get more back than I lost. There is another way to handle things, but this is the most positive. Plus I like, you know, eliminating the bad guys. It's for the good of the wasteland. But the dead shall never rest in peace. Good day, Traveler. Do you need something? The Skulls are planning to kill Neil. What? Hmm. We'll see about that. I'll send someone over to ambush them when they try it. You gonna be there? Absolutely. Alright. So who should I eliminate first? I guess I'll eliminate the boss. No. Oh. That was easy. Vinny's dead. This guy's dead. Aw, oh, they just shot. Oh, he picked up a gun. You just hit me. You know what that means, right? Bye bye eyes. I think she's the last one. Yep, that is it. Easy peasy. And then also, 
Welcome to the Skeleton Pit. What can I do for you? Uh, I've got your urn back for you. Thank you. You can't know what this means to me. You'll never pay a drink again in this bar. Let's pick up some of this goodies. Even though I'm at capacity. How great is that? A leather jacket. No capacity. Alright, fine. I'm done. Anyways. There he is. He's outside now. It's late. Come back some other time. It's late. Let's do morning. Okay, fine. An hour. There. It's not late anymore. It's morning time. Yes? My name's Ingenious. Just looking around. I'm Saul. Been living in Junktown long? Been here all my life. Grew up here. Uh, how'd you become a boxer? I was always getting into scuffles with my brother when I grew up. One time, a small band of raiders attacked Junktown, and I beat one into submission before he could get his gun on me. Just luck, really. But Gizmo was sponsoring organized fights, and I needed some money. Been boxing ever since. What happened to your brothers? My brother James was killed in a raider attack a few years ago. Shortly after that, my other brother, Daryl, gathered together some things and set off south towards a mystical place called The Glow. In search of the treasure of the ancients, or something like that, he never came back. Sorry to hear about your loss. Thank you. It's been a few years, but I still don't like to talk about it much. Well, how about some other questions? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to threaten the poor guy. How about your boss? Gizmo's Casino is where everybody goes to gamble. There are many games, and you can have a great time. It's the best place on the side of the hub. Let's see. If you're just looking for supplies? You should try Killian Darkwater Store, off southeast of here. You can also get a night's sleep at the crash house near here. If you're planning to stay a while, you might want to get a drink over at the scum pit, but watch out for the skulls. Who are they? Bad bunch who hang out in the back of this crash house and at the scum pit. Watch out for them. They like playing with knives. Anything else you told me about? What can I help you with? Okay, why is he not talking about Trish? Oh well. Miss out a little bit. He won't talk to me. And I'm trying to think if there was anything else I can do here. How's my karma coming? Up to 37, not too bad. And I'm a champion. The war against evil and villainy is widely known. Honorable people will respect you better. Sweet. Before we go, I want to talk to Killian one more time. Darn, just came out of his. I can't steal anything, actually. I don't have room. Just looking for some stuff you don't have out there, you know? Need ammo. Desperately. Yep, I thought so. I was it. Nothing special about that. <laughs> BB gun. I should play a game with uh, just the BB gun. Rope. Always need rope. So, did you get the evidence? Sure did. Which? Bug or tape? Confession. Let's hear it. That's the first time I've been happy to hear his voice. Thanks, friend. Now, time for you and me to take care of the other business. I'll take the stim packs. Well, thanks again. Well, listen, I'm going to take the guards and run Gizmo and his cronies out of town. I could use another gun. You up for it? Might be good. Go to Lars at the guard station. He'll fill you in. Now, listen, this town owes you a lot. Completely forgot about that conversation. Well, howdy. What can I do for you today? I want to barter. Try to unload a little bit of this stuff that I have. But you don't have much in the ways of caps. So this is going to be fun. And you do have a stim pack, so let's see what you're up to. About 200. 174. 224. 196. You're probably not going to switch that, so. Glad I came back. A little bit more experience. I'm going to try one more time to talk to the to Saul.
Yes. Nice to meet you. Later. Alright, that is that. Now we're going to go on down to the hub. I probably should go back up to the Brotherhood now. I got some... Ooh, the caps. That's what I needed it for. Thank you for watching. I'd appreciate it if before you go, you could take a moment of your time to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much.